here, would we? Especially since you've gone to such lengths to remain above the fray of politics. You can't seize the plants, Frank. We haven't seized anything yet. We're ready to, but we won't if you cooperate. It's illegal. It's not. You know that. The president can issue an executive order in times of emergency. I'll fight it in court. Which will take even longer than a FERC investigation would, and in the meantime, you make nothing from those plants. We agreed. Right here in this room, we agreed to work together. We agreed as men of our word. And I held up my end of that bargain until you abandoned I me on the entire bill. I sent to help bill. you. After I got it passed through the Senate with no help I from you. I had to protect my relationship and with the And then you tried to use me during the summit in Spotsylvania. I was not put on this earth to be your best friend or to share every piece of information I have with you. We agreed to a mutually beneficial partnership. That's all. Yes. And what's become very clear to me is that I benefit in no way from this partnership. Let's not pretend to be naive. We both respect self-interest above all else. Our versions of that no longer align. You are on the verge of making an irreversible mistake, Mr. Vice President. I may well be making a mistake. Who knows? What I do know is that you'll be calling Linda and telling her that you'll accept the subsidies. You may have all the money, Raymond, but I have all the men with guns. It's a burner, pre-dialed, she's expecting. Oh, and uh, yes, from last night.